Thank you all for joining us today. We are so glad you could make it and accompany us on this exciting journey through your neighborhood, Credit View. Hello, I'm Patrick Brown, Mayor of your great city. The Nurturing Neighborhoods Program is a direct result of your input into the 2040 vision. Understanding how our neighborhoods work for you, our residents, is what this program is all about. Take the virtual walk today, then share your thoughts in a survey or by identifying places in your neighborhood by commenting on our virtual map. Thank you for your continued participation. The strength of our city is when the, is when the citizens are engaged. And this project of nurturing neighborhoods is to make sure uh, that we build a city where your voice is heard. It's your neighborhood. It's your backyard. Tell us what we need to work on. Tell us what is working well. Tell us what we need to fix. This is democracy in action. It's our Nurturing Neighborhoods program. Thank you for your participation. Welcome to the 2020 Nurturing Neighborhoods Virtual Walk. I'm City Councilor Doug Woodlands. I'm here in one of our naturalized areas here in Wards 2 and 6. And going online, it not only connects you to the resources you need, but it empowers you to play an active role in enhancing our neighborhoods. I want to thank our program sponsors, Electra and Enbridge, for their continued support in our community. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong, and enjoy your walk. Hello, I'm Michael Pleshi, your Regional Councilor, and I'm very happy to have you take this virtual walk of your neighborhood. The Nurturing Neighborhoods program is a way to connect you with the resources to make your neighborhood even better. We'd like to acknowledge our program partners, the Region Appeal, Credit Valley Conservation, Toronto Region Conservation Authority, and the Peel Regional Police, who all take an active part in this program. Enjoy the walk, everyone. Our first stop of today's tour is the Mount Pleasant Recreational Trail. This particular stretch of the Mount Pleasant Trail falls within a natural heritage system. A natural heritage system is made up of areas that are owned and or managed by a variety of public agencies, such as provincial ministries, municipalities, and conservation authorities. It is also owned and managed by private landowners, such as agricultural producers, commercial, and recreational operators. The Flower City Recreational Trail is an asphalt trail that transcends from east to west for seven kilometers throughout the city. Along this trail, you will come across the K.W. Mullings Channel. The St. Elizabeth Jamaican-born Mullings, who died in 2005, was pivotal in the development of reggae in Canada, especially Toronto. That 40-year contribution was recognized on October 17, 2019, when the city of Brampton named one of its waterways the K.W. Mullings Channel in honor of the Jamaican-born Mullings and the rising population of Jamaican-born Brampton residents. Located at 295 Veterans Drive is Buick Park and Skate Park. The park covers 1.94 hectares of land. Residents can enjoy paved walkways, a playground, shaded seating, a large open field, a basketball court, and most unique, a skate park. The City of Brampton currently has eight skateboard parks across the city. These parks vary in size, surface material, and skate elements. More specifically, these skate parks can be identified as major, minor, or basic skateboard parks, each varying in skill level. The 2017 City of Brampton Parks and Recreation Master Plan states, to meet future needs, the city will need to construct two new skate parks, one major and one minor. Did you know, the city maintains over 4,100 hectares of land, including sports fields and valley lands. For more information, visit brampton.ca slash parks. Our fourth stop of the tour is the Drinkwater House. In January of 2011, the Drinkwater House was deemed worthy of a heritage designation under Part 4 of the Ontario Heritage Act. The two-story brick house first is listed in the 1851 census return as being lived in by William and Sarah Drinkwater and their nine children. The property possesses contextual value as it is important in defining the once rural character of the area. The front of the house is estimated to have been built in the late 1840s. The circa 1840 building has a center hall plan with the main staircase placed in the middle of the house. The house was preserved in situ and is now surrounded by a residential subdivision. Locally owned bubble tea and coffee shop, Bean and Pearl has something to satisfy your sweet cravings. 
At the northeast corner of Credit View and Sandalwood, they are a shop that fuses two very different cultures of beverage. The one that everyone wakes up to, coffee, and the one that everyone craves for dessert, bubble tea. A place to hang out, have a first date, or work on your side hustle. Bean and Pearl aims to be a diverse, open, and welcoming space. By bringing their Asian influences to the table, they merged their love for bubble tea with their love for European specialty coffee and added their flair for hosting. Located at 10510 Credit View Road is Credit View Sandalwood Park. This 100-acre park opened to the public in 2018 and within its perimeter is the Credit View Activity Hub. The Activity Hub is the first of its kind in Ontario as it is the first fully accessible playground for individuals with physical, mental, and or emotional challenges and disabilities. The Activity Hub is themed with a water cycle idea, color coordinated with educational signage. It includes a splash pad, bounce wall, four square and hopscotch, swings, climbers, slides, sand tables, and a swing ship that is wheelchair accessible. The park itself contains eight mini soccer fields, cricket fields, two lit football or soccer combined fields, a community garden, and many other amenities. Also, approximately 2,500 trees and shrubs are planted throughout the park. More than 500 of these trees have been planted in partnership with the Credit Valley Conservation Authority to provide a naturalized environment, improve biodiversity, stormwater quality, and prevent erosion. This marks the end of our tour. We hope you found it both engaging and exciting. Thank you for joining us on the Credit View Walking Tour with the Nurturing Neighborhoods Program. Remember to like the video and submit any comments and questions by visiting www.brampton.ca slash neighborhoods. Here, you will be able to access your neighborhood survey and participate in the interactive mapping exercise.